Welcome back to the Chick Shift Garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your downstream oxygen sensor or O2 sensor. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first step, you wanna go ahead and take off the battery terminal. Tuck it right down there. Alrighty. Oh, make sure you subscribe too, by the way. So let's go down here. I'm gonna show you where the O2 sensor resides the downstream one and then right past your flex plate right here this guy he's the oxygen sensor you got to replace all right so the first thing you do right with some uh like i said wd-40 or some kind of pb blaster and then just let it soak for a while all right so while the pb blaster is soaking we're going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect the electrical socket with the o2 sensor and that's going to be right here you see right there, there if i go ahead and get these needle nose pliers on that little tab that should loosen up this connector that's connected to this bracket i'll take it off that way so we'll get a little needle nose pliers and squeeze that little tab oh there you go so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not because they're gonna give you very little wire nissan did you can see the little tab right there so you want to push that tab with your finger and then it should pop right out i finally got this sucker off but basically i'm gonna try to show you what i did because there's no way i could hold the camera and get a good shot on it it looks like this and there's these little tabs here that kind of lock on the on the on one side of it and what you got to do is push down on this tab you pull on the plug eventually it should pop out all right just make sure that your your exhaust is relatively cool because i had to use two hands i had my hand come under on this side and i had my other hand up straight up there so the wrench size for this is a seven eighths inch oh oh god just took out the camera sorry guys and we're just gonna loosen it by hand okay and there's your o2 sensor out okay now for demonstrative purposes i'm just going to go ahead and clean this off this is in case like you have to take it off for something else and you've got to put it back on make sure you just scrub the threads nice and clean uh, i'm using a nylon brush or if you got some really caked on stuff a brass uh brush would work as well but i'm just gonna scrub the threads real good like so and you can see how they're nice and clean okay now when you go put it back you want to put some anti-seize lubricant on it this is a permatex version um it's all pretty much the same thing and you just want to get like a dab small dab and then put it on your threads carefully make sure you don't get any around the uh opening for the o2 sensor there all right you're just going to coat this up nice and good like so all right and this is ready to go in so before you put the uh, O2 sensor on, you want to get your brush. This is a brass brush or nylon. I like to just scrub, try to scrub the threads out best as I can. At this point, you want to grab your new or used O2 sensor. Oh, you want to put it in the hole like so. Turn until you feel like the threads have caught. Just be mindful of your the uh, O2 pigtail and where that is. You don't want to get tangled up in something. And then we got it finger tight. That way I know I'm not stripping threads when I go tighten this up. All right, and clean off the anti-seize. Got a little bit of extra. So what I'm gonna do is just tighten it down basically as tight as I can with this big 7 8 inch wrench. All right, I think that's good enough. So then at this point, you just want to grab your pigtail, just get lined up, push it in so you won't go no more. You might hear a click. You might not. I didn't hear a click on mine. But once you got it all the way in, go ahead and it should snap back into that bracket. So the last thing you want to do is you just want to check this plastic fastener. I'll show you the gray thing right there. Make sure that's plugged back in and then make sure you have your pigtail uh, tucked into this metal bracket right here. Okay, that will make sure that your pigtail does not get tangled up with the CV joint directly above or get too close to the exhaust. Last but not least, we want to connect our battery. All right, that's it for this video. The O2 sensor is back on. If you like our work, go ahead, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more Trick Shift Garage videos, and we'll see you on the next one.